Hey, it's Valuable Tips here. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every now and then to bring valuable tips to your life. Only you can show support. Okay, I'll be going through some of the plays that I made and the reason why I made them. For this replay, it's important that you know what deck you're playing against. You select the going first. So when you see this card over here, when you see this card, when he start out with this card, there's a high chance that it's Sky Striker. Okay, but when he sets two, it becomes like it could be more of a trap deck that utilizes only one monster because he sets two or his hand is just very bad. If it's the later, you don't have to worry about that. Because, you know, if his hand is bad, chances are you're going to win. So what's going to happen is that, you see the play that I made, I'm going to be trying to play against, I will be trying to mimic as if I'm playing against Sky Striker going into the unknown. So I flip our leech, so I know that it's our leech. So what do I do? I start off with be still first, cause this is a massive counter to our leech and sky striker. Search pack Namut. I don't search other be still because this is the this card here is the best counter towards our leech and sky striker. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of his floodgate. So here, here, he flips another one, summon limit. So what I was thinking is that if I use branded beast and I get rid of Colosseum, I wouldn't be able to get rid of summon limit and I have no place for the rest of the turn. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get branded beast and get rid of summon limit first. Then using glory to get King Sacred Vegas and follow up with just destroying it and summon a bunch of monster then getting rid of Colosseum last okay it's important to remember that when you are playing Horus Dark Magician you will want actually you will want the bricks in your hand so that you can discard them with King Cetrophagus. But you want it later in the later part of the game. So it's best you get them through uh what's the card? Get them through Illusion of Chaos. Or dark magical circle, yeah. Okay, this is a very big play here. You might not see it, but it's actually a very big play. You see. I didn't use King Cetrophagus effect to get another Horus on the board because I want him to summon Eldritch first then I can finish it with Dark Magical Circle and Magician Souls combo that's one secondly is to play around evenly match I know some trap decks they like to play evenly match Eldritch may or may not play evenly match the not so good builds one 
to play evenly match. Okay, why then take Beldrick instead of Drusom? The reasoning is simple. So the only way that he wins this matchup is where he links summons or he use XYC to summon something that destroy everything on the field. Okay. Else if he destroy just one by one or just like destroy two of my monster, my Harpy will be able to get them back, recycle them so that he won't be able to win in a long game. So this is important because this counters any link plays or any uh xyz play that he's going to make see here i immediately use render beast effect to pop one of his back row I pop the center one because that could be infinite impermanence. Ideally, you don't put your best trap in a row where there's other trap, you know, unless they are trying to protect it from being like from your opponent from using infinite impermanence on it. Else, you don't do that because when you do that, the opponent is going to think that you have infinite impermanence and it's going to destroy that trap in particular. Okay, going to the next game. Let's see what do we have. I play a lot. I play against a lot of Fire Kings. Uh, Dingotsu is the best against Fire Kings. Snake Eyes, this deck is not so good against them. Salaman Great, this deck is okay-ish. Realize I search Saronia first because I don't want it to go to the graveyard. Technically, I can have it going to the graveyard. But just to test for Ash Blossom, that's why I search Saronia first. This play is to start to bait Ash Blossom out first. So when I search Dark Magician, it's clear that, you know, I have... I have something that discard my Dark Magician in my hand. I made up some misplay here, but it's okay because make up for it later on. I made up some misplay here, right here. The moment that he uses this effect, oh sorry, the moment that he uses the summoning effect, I should have summoned Dark Magician to get rid of his few spell. Then I could use SP Litana effect to banish the XYZ that comes out. Which I didn't. So that was a misplay. Come 
Maxi uh, chain. Can I use it? Yeah, that was a mispleasure. Just use it the moment that it feels indestructible if I want to use spell. Or the moment that he summons his level 1 Purry. There's only one way to get rid of his No, only one way. You'll see what's the way later on. For my deck, there's only one way to get rid of this demo. If I play Goddess of the Underworld, I will have another way to get rid of it. But the thing is, if you play Goddess, you're weak against a lot of other decks because that card is not so good against any other deck. For this deck, there's, no, there's not much synergy for this deck. Assess Code Talker is the only way to get rid of him. I have to summon Assess Code Talker twice. Or I could use this. Here is very important. You have to. Summon first, send, send, summon, actually you should summon this last so that he thinks that you don't have it, you know. He surrender because he knows when he gets rid of this, all my other effect will activate. This is an exciting game. Okay, started with Premedia, this key elements. It's important that it's okay, if you want to min max, right? It's important that when he doesn't when he start milling, he hasn't mew a telemen yet. When he start milling, turn off your trigger, the auto trigger that cause your screen to light up when he start milling. Only when you see that a telemer is being milled, those uh, Sharon or the other one, then you turn it back on. Ok, 
Okay, now I turn it on. I saw Hafner's being new, so I turn it on. I made him think that I do not have a bestial in hand or any hand traps in hand. It's just some small details that matters. Ideally, in this matchup, we want to banish Hafner's because this is a one off. It's a one off. It continues its combo. So with this hand, I see that I have a few spell. I cannot let him use his shuffler, which he's going to get later when after his meal. Because when he uses shuffler, his field self will be able to destroy a card on the field. Destroy one card on the field. He's going to destroy my field spell and I cannot summon my horrors afterwards. So I start off with Magician Rod to bait out Shulek, which is the, which he did use. I don't know why he used Shulek on the Magician Rod. Shouldn't have done that. Such a waste. This is my normal summon, but this is not a very strong normal summon. This is obviously a bait. Okay, keep comboing. Keep comboing. It's okay. Okay, so I know his hand has one halfness. So his draw, I'm playing around. I will be playing around Ash Blossom and see what I do next. Illusion of Chaos was, oh, he has Ash Blossom. How unfortunate. And just use his crimey effect. So now he has this, this one, it could be Infinite Impermanence. But I just need to play around Infinite Impermanence. Oh, but it's actually super poly. Who would have thought? Why did you use it earlier? Maybe should I use it earlier when I link one into that. Now you can only special summon with one of your monster. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I don't know why you wait until I go into SP Little Knight. Now you're just gonna lose the game. You have nothing to stop my horrors. You're just gonna lose the game. Okay, this is important here. He has one shuffler. So what I do here, if he shuffles all my stuff back here, I would have lost. So I just summon it first. Then I use my soul servant later. Slowly discard everything. Summon it one by one. I do not want him to shuffle back all my horrors. I would have lost that if he does that. I don't know why he didn't use this. Could have shuffled just now. There's three good target. He chose not to use it. I destroy his bot one by one. I don't know why he didn't use it earlier on. Should I use it earlier on. Okay, I chain Magnamut to banish it. I was trying to bait out the second uh use of his skill so that his graveyard has not much ammo left to banish. Okay, this is important. He has two four, two level falls. He can go into the zoos here. I have to prevent that from happening. So what I do here, I go into Anaconda to super poly them. So at least you have one less level four. Now we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.